Save up to 30% on select items at Raymore & Flanagan's President's Day Sale. Hurry in. Recap here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to explain a 2017 American science fiction and action movie called Beyond Skyline. This movie is a sequel to the 2010 movie Skyline, set concurrently with the events of the first movie. The movie begins with a dying woman named Rose who is brought by several men in an alien spaceship. The scene moves to Los Angeles where ex-detective Mark visits LAPD to free his son, Trent, out of jail. There, he meets up with Officer Garcia, Mark's old friend who helps him out. Fed up with his son's behavior, he requests Garcia to lock Trent up, but he changes his mind after Garcia warns him that it is final warning for his son. After that, Trent is released and it seems like the relationship between them is not too good for some needs a brain to function and it then starts attacking them again. The survivors try to escape and Mark manages to eliminate the alien by exploding it. Meanwhile, the alien mothership is seen repairing itself and begins to fly around again. They try to run out of the city, but are confronted by another alien. Garcia volunteers himself to buy some time for his friends, but the alien is just too strong for him and Garcia gets sucked by it. Mark, Audrey, Trent, and Sarge eventually arrive at a port where another huge alien of the humanoid after seeing his girlfriend was still alive. With Mark's help, Elaine gives birth to a little girl and unfortunately passes away after the process. After that, Mark promises Jared to get his daughter off the ship since her biological father has transformed into a humanoid and Jared decides to help him to find his son. On their way, the red-eyed alien equips Mark with an alien weapon by inserting his arm into a hole. It is also revealed that Jared plans to blow the alien mothership. They eventually arrive at the control room where the alien leader suddenly appears. Jared sends Mark and his little girl to another chamber where Trant and Audrey manage to free themselves and attempt to escape from the chamber. But an alien shows up and unfortunately kills Trent in the process. Mark is enraged at his alien weapon. He is now able to kill the alien with his own hands. On the other side, the alien leader battles Jared and easily defeats him. He immediately heads over to the chamber and attacks Sarge, who tries to protect the baby from the alien. The dying Jared uses his remaining power to destroy the mothership, which gives Audrey and Mark more time to dodge the alien leader. The ship crashes in Laos where the local residents, including Sua and Knives, and begins the automatic ship repair on the land due to excessive loss of blood. They then meet Kanya and Sua, who guide them to a hut. Kanya and Sua find out that Mark is a cop, thinking that he is in disguise. The fight between the Americans and the Asians ensues. Suddenly, they spot the local police officers patrolling, who have been on the warpath since the alien arrived. They then reconcile. Sua, Kanya, and the Americans team up to dodge the local police. Later that night, Mark shares to the Asians about the alien machine or humanoids which basically are still humans because they need human brains to operate, meaning that all of them can be freed. The next morning, Mark awakens, only to find out that someone is pointing a gun at his head. Sua immediately takes him down. On the other side, Audrey is surprised when she sees the little girl has grown rapidly. Kanya and Sua bring their new allies to their hideout which is located under a beautiful temple, what Shiva. Turns out that the Asians sell drugs for their living, no wonder if they hate cops so much. There, Mark also meets scientist Harper, who checks the girl's condition. Afterward, he examines the girl's blood, discovering that the girl might be an alien because of her weird blood structure. Aware of this, Kanye immediately confronts the girl, but Mark manages to calm her down, saying that unfortunately, she accidentally steps on the landmine. Left with no option, she sacrifices herself and the explosion kills both Kanye and the alien. 